Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Jamie B. Thanks for stopping by. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing a kind of like full face of pixie makeup. I do get sent pixie beauty in PR monthly. It's a lot more skincare than it is makeup, but I just thought that it would be fun to actually sit down and try some of this pixie makeup out with you guys and let you know what I think about it. So if you're excited to see my thoughts and the look I come up with the pixie makeup, then go ahead and keep watching. Basically, I get sent Pixie, a Pixie package every month, for the most part, every month in PR. And most of the time it contains skincare, but there'll be some times where I will get makeup, so I get really excited. So I couldn't do a full face of makeup because I don't have a full range. Like I don't have foundation from them. I don't even know if they do foundation, but I don't have foundation from them. And there's like just other different things that I really don't have that I don't think that they make actually. So I do have a lip. I chose this lip. I have a bunch of like lip glosses from them. I have mascara. I have a blush or a face palette. I have eyeshadow palettes. I have setting spray. So that's the items that we're really going to get into today and just kind of see how it is. I do like a quick unboxing sometimes and I'll just do like swatches for my Instagram but I don't think I've ever sat down and actually just really tried the pixie makeup so I want to go ahead and give it a try and see what my thoughts are on it so I have already done my eyebrows off camera hardly used I'm going to go ahead in with the Mario master eye prep and I'm just going to prep my eyes eye primer like my eyes just they are so dry and just as an update on the Cetaphil eye cream, I did like a, um, I want to say like a current favorites. I don't know what it was. Maybe it was a current favorites, but I'll put the video up here where I talked about the Cetaphil and like how amazing it was and how like usually I'll use something for a couple of days and then it just goes right back to how it was and well, uh... <laughs> It was really nice for a couple of days. I want to say for like two, three weeks and not even three weeks. I want to say like two weeks or so and I'm right back to dry eyes. So I just don't know what to do about that. I keep saying that I have to go see a dermatologist and then I don't and I'm just like... I need to I really need to all right so I have two eyeshadow palettes here I have only ever gotten I want to say four eyeshadow palettes from pixie two of them were a long long time ago and I hated them um the pigmentation was just not good it just they were not good the colors weren't good it just wasn't nice I didn't like it um but I got these uh, a couple months ago it's the rosette ray and the hazelnut haze and these are the pixie eye effects and these are stunning like at least in the palette you know what I mean I haven't used them used them so but I'm so excited because these are so stinking pretty put them here so you can see them a little bit more they have some shimmers they have some mattes so i'm super super excited to try these i'm trying to decide which one i want to do i think i'm gonna go in with the rosette ray so i won't be using this one today the haze one but i am gonna go in with the rosette ray because it's very pretty so i just gotta figure out what what I'm gonna be doing. I do love this color story. I do feel though like they could have maybe put a few different colors in to kind of like mix it up a little bit, but I get there's a color story to it, so I get that. I also found out, I so I talked to you guys about my MAC brushes in the video where Madison did my makeup and I'll link that video up here. Um, I found out that apparently MAC does like all synthetic brushes now and I had no idea that they even changed it because like that's how long it's been since I have bought a MAC brush and so basically they don't make the natural hairs anymore they're all synthetic um and I just thought I'd throw that out there because I didn't know that I think I'm gonna go in with this color right here and just place that all over my lid and up towards my brow I'm going in with a blending brush to do that and this color I don't know what it's called I have such a hard time reading these but I want to say it's French Rose because the other one is glow. So this doesn't glow and it's not shimmery. So I'm just going to place that color right above the crease and then I'll go ahead and put it down. This is a nice, beautiful transition color. It's pretty pigmented. I mean, it's a little bit light, but again, this is a drugstore palette and I will put the prices down below. 
but you can get Pixie really anywhere. I think Ulta carries it, Target carries it. I do like this. It's like almost like a mauve color. It would be nice like just by itself if you were just doing like a quick look to be out the door. Do you know what I mean? So I'm gonna go into this color right here underneath and it's plum. So and I'm gonna put that in my crease and try to just put a little definition in those eyes. It doesn't have a lot of fallout either, which is really nice. Ooh, this is actually really nice. Why have I not used these palettes? I love that. And so I'm gonna go to the outer corner and just place that color as well. And I brought that up over my crease to meet that pinky color. So I decided that I want to go over the whole lid with that plum color. And I'm gonna do like a little halo moment in the middle. Just thought that would be really pretty because I really am loving this plum color like a lot. Ooh. So I'm going in with that brush just with what was left over from the French rose color, that pink color, and I'm just blending over that plum. So it really just blends into each other. So I decided to go back in with a packing brush just to put a little bit more color on the lid. I don't know why I did that with a blending brush because I knew it wasn't going to give me the color I needed, but... It's there now, thank gosh. I think what I'm gonna do is go into the center with this color, which is the glow color, right there. It's very nice. I'm gonna try, I think, with my finger, and I'm gonna place it just in the center to give it a nice pop. All right, so I need to get a base. All right, so I'm going in with the Hourglass Veil base just to put it in the center there so I can pick up that color. All right, and I'm just gonna place it right in the center where I'm gonna want that shimmer to be. All right, so I'm gonna go in with my flat MAC brush and I'm gonna pick that color up. I might have to wet the brush because this is not as shimmery as I was hoping. Okay, that's not bad. It's not the best. It's very hard to mess a shimmer up, honestly. It is really hard to mess up a shimmer shadow. So I'm definitely, I'm gonna go in with this um, setting spray and just kind of spritz my brush and see if I can pick up a better shimmer with that. So wetting it definitely helped but also using my finger helped a lot too because that shimmer was just not coming onto my eye no matter what I did. So I feel like I like this one a lot better than I liked the Pop Beauty palette but it just goes with that same like it's nice it's just giving me some issues on certain areas like the shimmer. So I'm going back in with that plum color by the way and just blending out. So I'm going back in with that plum color and I'm just blending out the harsh lines of where the shimmer is. So I'm going to darken this up just a little bit by using this dark brown here which is black tulip. It's pretty dark and I'm just going to be going into the outer corner with this color and into somewhat of the crease. Nothing crazy though. And then outer corner. Inner corner. <laughs> Oops. Okay, and then I'm just gonna blend the little bit of that French rose, that color out. So that is, I don't know that I like it. I just feel like it all blended together. The shinies aren't that shiny. And like, no matter what I do, I just keep placing it there and hoping that it will like, shine <laughs> but i'm having a hard time <laughs> all right so let's move to the face part because that's getting on my nerves really bad so they don't have a primer so i'm gonna go in with the um glow mist and just let that be my base it does give you some pretty glowy skin so i'm excited about that so now i'm gonna go in with my foundation and today i'm using the becca ultimate coverage 24 hour foundation it is darker my skin okay so this is a new foundation and i'm having some serious issues with it so i had to go in with a different foundation a lighter one because one it was way too dark it's a newer foundation so it was my first time trying it because i got it from like a marshall's but it's really weird not only is it the wrong color friends but it was like chunky and like sticking to certain parts of my face. So it was a little weird. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. 
All right, so I'm gonna go in with a with my concealer. Um, I don't have any concealer from Pixie, so we're going in with Tarte Shape Tape for today because this one is super light and I'm hoping that this will lighten up some of this foundation because, oh my God, it's tan. Like tan tan. And I absolutely love Tarte. Like I know a lot of people really didn't like it. It was too thick. People overused it when it came out, but I just, I love this concealer. It works so well for my skin and for the coverage that I like. So. so another thing that I don't have is setting powder. Like I told you, I don't have a lot of things um, that they may or may not have. So I'm just going to use my own stuff. And this is the Charlotte Tilbury. Yeah, I almost forgot what this was. This is my, my favorite setting powder. Okay, so I know I have more face palettes. Here it is. This is the Sugar Blossom face palette. Ooh. So I am going to skip bronzer just because I went over just with my empty bronzer brush to like blend this in a little, but my foundation is already too dark as it is. I'm not going to add bronzer to it. I'm just going to go with what I have. So I'm going to go in. I think I'm going to go in with this blush right here, this super pink one, which I'm assuming is Blossom. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Oh, yes. So I just got rid of another one in my declutter video from them and it was not like this. Oh my gosh. It's a very dull, like more natural blush. This is like where it's at for me. It's just, this is like very powdery though. I will say that. Like I just got blush all up down here. <laughs> It's not where it was rouge. I love that this is so bright. Oh, this is such a, like it's a little powdery, but it's a little pigmented. I want to try this one, but with my foundation right now being a little bit darker than um, I require, I'm not gonna use any more dark colors on my face. Um, I'm gonna go in with this one. It's called Sugar. It's the highlighter. So hopefully it doesn't work out like, that looks shiny. So hopefully it works because like the shimmer shadow did not work for me. So I'm gonna go in here and really just give it a, give it a swirl, okay? <laughs> what is happening? So now I'm digging into it because, okay. There we go. I don't need it to be super bright on the cheek, but like up here, like you need to shine. So in order to get it to do that, I had to like really dig into it. So what I'm starting to think is like maybe Pixie isn't really the best when it comes to anything shiny because I shouldn't have to do all that to get some highlighter on my face. Especially when I have like so many other highlighters that will just like go on. I wonder if it's on my Cupid's bow too. Just give me a little shimmer today. Hmm. Once I like dug into that... <laughs> It came out great, but uh, you know, I had to dig into it. So we're gonna go back to the under eye. I think I'm gonna go in with the plum color again, just right here. And actually, yeah, I think I'm gonna, I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go in there and I'm going to just wipe her up. All right, so I'm gonna go into the inner corner and I'm gonna go in with ice which is this super super bright color here so let's hope this gives us a little more shimmer than glow did Ooh, okay <laughs> so it just has to be like you know a complete white eyeshadow and then it gives us some shimmer all right so we're gonna go into the lips and this is the pleasing pink and is a liquid lip if i'm not mistaken it smells really good Oh, <laughs> oh, pink it is. No, nope, nope. All right, so I'm gonna go into a lip gloss that I got from them, which is in Peony Bloom, just because I did not like that pink at all. And it's not even that I don't think I like the color. I think I just like, the applicator was so weird. I don't know, I didn't like it. I didn't like it at all. It has a nice little color to it, and it's just so pretty with this look. So I'm gonna hop off camera, put my lashes on, and then I'll be right back. 
All right, so I'm going in now that I have my lashes on and I did use the Pixie Mascara. It was good. Um, I'm not real picky on my mascara. I know some people are, but I think it was good. It's got a fat little, fat little, little fat brush, which I like. Um, I don't think it's anything special, but like I said, I wear fake lashes. So to me, mascara is mascara. Like as long as it's nice and it comes out of the tube because I got a Dollar Tree one and that did not, I'm pretty sure it was dry. It was just dried up in there. So, but it's really nice. It's really dark and it doesn't make a mess when it is getting applied. So I'm going in with the setting spray and this is the Pixie Skin Treats Glow Mist with Argon Oil and other things that I can't pronounce. Um, you have to shake it though because it does have like oils in it. So it does tend to separate and we're going to... That's really soaking my face. Ooh, I really, really like that. It does get me like wet like all over. Um, I have foundation on my hoodie now, but I have a lot of foundation on my hoodie. Um, it, like, my face looks so wet. I think I did too much. I think I did too much. Um, it definitely has like a heavy mister. Um, and I realized that earlier too when I sprayed it on, but it wasn't so bad because I had no makeup on where this is like, dude, your borderline about to like make my makeup run. I need you to get it together. All right, guys. So that is it for today's video um, using Pixie makeup. I definitely have to say I prefer their skincare a lot more. I am, I'm not a fan of the eyeshadow. Like it was nice, but it's definitely not on the level of like formula that I prefer. I know that there are some people who do not wear like a ton of makeup. So I feel like this would be really nice for them just cause it's like a light, nothing super crazy bold, but the shimmers, like, like I said, it's very hard to mess up a shimmer. So the fact that like this does not shine the way it does, the fact that I had to like dig into the highlighter palette, I love the blush. I love their lip stuff uh, for the most part. I did not care for this, it was kind of streaky. But their lip stuff for the most part, like their glosses, ooh, are so good. Their skin stuff, so good. Face spray, so good. Makeup, I'm gonna pass. Hopefully they don't see this and go, oh, okay, well, you know, girl, you your golf on the PR list. I don't, I don't care, it's fine. I just think that they are definitely more of a skincare company um, to me. At least something that I prefer from them is their skincare over their makeup. I will definitely say that face spray is like, made like all up in here glowy like not just my highlighter but like my whole face like okay i hope you guys like this video if you did make sure you give it a big thumbs up down below make sure you are subscribed to my channel i do five videos a week and one blooper video every saturday and as always guys i'll see you in the next one bye